कंपेशन सर कुर्सियां आपकी है एक बार फिर यार वो लोग स्टेज पे आ रहे हैं अब बिग राउंड अपलॉस लाल बाग बीच शुरू करें चले कब तक बजाएगा दूसरों की धुन कभी तो अपने दिल की सुन गणपति बप्पा
Ladies and gentlemen, Ritesh Deshmukh and Nargis Fakhri. Yes, Nargis. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Oh, Pratim, oh, Pratim. Ritesh, thank before you. I ask you to sit, there is an instrument that you just want to play with your hands. This was very good. I took a banjo and took a lot of banjo. Should I take the mic from you? I can't play with this. Okay, I'll try, I'll try. Hey, Yana, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I'll take the mic. Yeah, I'll take the mic. I guess we still have a couple of instruments left. Nargis, I think you can um, play the drums for the photographs. <laughs> Disco Diva. <laughs> That's the same beat. Luke would know. Aren't you giving him the opportunity in the film to make music? With, aren't you giving him the opportunity in the film to make music? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the best thing is she spots talent. Yeah. And you know where the talent we, we see that. Yeah, right. yeah, talent spotter. Okay, can we have a mic for her? Okay, you know, let's go. Marcus. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. <laughs> Lovely. Can we have uh, an applause for our two musicians here? Thank you. Ritesh, you've been here in your childhood. So did you ever try picking up the banjo and playing it? Um, actually... It's like in your childhood, when mom and dad say, learn the instrument, they put you through some instrument class. My mother sent me a Hawaiian guitar. It's a guitar that you keep on your lap, like a banjo. And it's like a rod. Okay. You start playing it on the strings, obviously. But... क्या था उस वक्त तेजा बाई थी और डी आइकॉनिक ट्यून डंग 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 यू नो वो एक था बाद में बिलंची नागिन निकाली एक अनदर ग्रेट मराठी सॉन्ग मुझे लगता है काफी सारे मराठी लोग होंगे जिनको पता है अरे मुझे फ्रेंडशिप डे नहीं नाग पंची में एका दूषी होती पंती नागिन त्याद दूषी � I think uh, it, th that was amazing. So banjo, of course, an attraction was because Ganpati is in the house and then when you get out of the house and when you go to the house, then you sit in the car and you say, Ganpati Bappa Morya, Pudcha Varshi Laukarya. And when you look out of the house, you see the whole thing running around the house. So I think that attraction was always there. And I'm glad that all of my dreams or dreams in this film I guess I mean you you were shutting your ears because you felt the thump of the of the of the beat the percussion. Did you learn an instrument? Like, did I learn an instrument? Yeah. Try I maybe. I tried. 
Try. Which one was this? But as you see, my talent is not there. Clearly not percussion. Yeah. No I string instrument, nothing? No, I like acoustic guitar. So right. I'm not that good. But Aap kya baal lambe kar rahe to get into continuity for, for, for the promotions now? Just yeah, yeah, never seen you with that I kind I of look I before. I think it's, it's important. I have a little bandhi. Okay. So hopefully, when the promotion started, I'll experiment with something else. Super. So uh, are we ready to watch the trailer? Okay, so before that, I would like to call on stage uh, the producer, Krishika Lalla, of course, of Eros International, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, and congratulations, because we rarely see films on music. Music is a part, but to make a film on a life of a musician, brilliant. Congratulations. Thank you. This is called Ravi Sir. And of course, now the director, Jinki Soch. So Ravi Jadav. Ravi is a dear friend and I'm glad that uh, we've got such a talented director making his debut in Hindi and uh, I'm, uh, I'm glad that um, you know Krishika is producing this film and I'm part of it. Thank you. Likewise, we all are proud to be together I think today. Yes. So let's in such a beautiful moment let's show them the trailer. And then we can have, uh, then we can talk about it. Okay, great. great. Okay. Ek to date kisne choose ki hai? Release ki. Love this date. <laughs> My mom's birthday. <laughs> Already love it. Uh, achha, maybe जो जद्दोजहद उनको सहनी पड़ती है यू नो स्ट्रीट म्यूजिशियंस है हमने बैंड के ऊपर भी काफी फिल्में देखी है यूज वन ऑफ दम राइट ये जो इंस्पिरेशन की जो थॉट आई एक डायरेक्टर जो है वो इतने साल लगाता है कहानी चूज करने में कि मैं इस पे फिल्म बनाऊंगा तो ये कब आया और एंड व्हाई आई थिंक देयर इज अ यूनिवर्सल इज अ लॉस ऑफ स्ट्रीट म्यूजिशियंस बेसिकली जो जिनका ड्रीम होता है कि कभी उनको स्टेज मिले और ये सब जगह पे दुनिया में सब जगह पे कि जहां पे जहां जहां स्ट्रीट म्यूजिक है वहां वहां उनको होप है कि हमको एक दिन स्टेज मिले एंड इंडिया uh, में हर जगह ऐसे स्ट्रीट म्यूजिशियन अभी भी है और मुझे लगता है अगर उनको मौका मिले अगर उनको कोई उनको एक एक चांस दे तो आई थिंक दे विल विन द वर्ल्ड एक्चुअली का उनका म्यूजिक इतना अच्छा होता है और उसमें उसमें वो सभी बातें हैं जो आई थिंक यूनिवर्सली अपील कर सकती है तो मुझे लगा बैंजो तो मैं बचपन से सुनते आ रहा था मैं वली में रहता था बचपन से मैं बैंजो सुनते आ रहा था और मुझे लगा इस 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 इंस्ट्रूमेंट में इस म्यूजिक में जो पावर है मुझे लगा वो यूनिवर्सल है मुझे जेन्यूनली लगा वो किसी रॉक से कोई कम नहीं है अभी आप देखेंगे जब लोग लाइव बजाते हैं तो हम नजदीक खड़े होकर सुन नहीं सकते वो और वैसा कोई आदमी नहीं होगा जो ये म्यूजिक सुनेगा बैंड जो लाइव और वो नाचेगा नहीं बिल्कुल तो हमारा यही है कि आप नाचते हुए थकोगे कि हम बजाते हुए थकेंगे तो बेसिकली दैट्स वाई बैंड जो एंड इज डेडिकेट टू आई थिंक द वर्ल्ड वाइड जितने भी स्ट्रीट म्यूजिशियंस है जिनको होप है कि एक न दिन हम स्टेज पे परफॉर्म करेंगे उनके उन सन सबके लिए फिल्म है क्या बात है क्या बात है आई लाइक टू नॉट कॉल ऑन द प्रोड्यूसर कृषिका मैम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ही हैड अ वेरी इंस्पायरिंग थॉट उनका आई थिंक जो पूरा थॉट प्रोसेस है वो बड़ा क्लियर था बट आप प्रोड्यूसर हैं सो ही हैड टू कन्विंस यू कि यस दिस इज द फिल्म दैट आई वांट टू मेक व्हाट मेड यू चूज द फिल्म दैट यस आई एम गोइंग टू मेक बैंजो ऑफ कोर्स द कांसेप्ट द कांसेप्ट वाज सो डिफरेंट एंड ऑलवेज बिलीव इन मेकिंग एक्सप्लोरिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सब्जेक्ट सो आई डोंट थिंक सो बैंजो हैज एवर कम in uh, bollywood and nobody has explored the street musician uh, musicians because i don't think so they must have thought of it that thought must have never come i'm i'm so sure about it it's the first time and uh, getting uh, ravi sir who's already uh, known in marathi film industry and uh, he's so his visions are so creative so obviously i said putting all that together and uh, especially such a beautiful and a different concept banjo i couldn't say no to it and so i love uh, one thing about ritesh is he has uh, reinvented himself for this film and he's really worked hard and love the passion because that's what i look for 
an actor who believes in the concept and who loves <laughs> the concept <laughs> equally and beautifully as how Ravi's taught us. So, and Nargis, of course, she played herself, I felt. And uh, that's what she felt too when she heard the <laughs> script. She's come from New York and even uh, our, our heroines come from there. So putting all together such a beautiful, brilliant team. And uh, so I think I couldn't say no for such a beautiful subject. Ma'am, why are you here? <laughs> Let's get you on stage. Because you were in my way. <laughs> right, I'm so sorry. Listen, I have to talk about two other people who I'm really fond of. And especially with, with a film uh, like this, where music is such an integral part. Vishal Shekhar, man, you've got some great music from them in Aladdin. And they've done some great music for you. And now this film, like I just heard that song, Uranchu. It's beautiful. So, so you want to talk about the music, Ritesh? Like uh, I, um, I'm actually a Vishal Shekhar fan. Um, and they're dear friends. Um, I think I must have, this must be our fourth or fifth film together. Right. Um, but um, this is something unique. Uh, Very different. And um, I always say this, and I'll, I'll say this again here, that um, the true heroes of this film are Vishal and Shekhar, because wow. without music, there is no banjo. Absolutely. You can have banjo without us in it, but you cannot have banjo without music, and you cannot have this music without Vishal Shekhar. So yes, um, today, um, both of them are not here. We're missing them, but um, they are the heroes of this movie. That's what I think. I guess, like Krishika mentioned, was it like very easy for you to just sign the film? Uh, listening to the character, she's from New York, she comes here to Mumbai. Instant or you mm, took... It wasn't that that made me want to sign it. It was actually... <laughs> of the, course, the, the role. Story. No, not the role. No? The, the story. The story of these street players. So, so for me, it was all about hope, as, as you said. So I, I got that right away when I heard the story. And I remember sitting there listening to it and... There's not so many films that you come across that actually touch your heart and resonate with your soul and what you like believe in or what you feel life should be like for whatever people or the way life should be like in general. So when I heard this story, I remember leaving and I told my manager, Fiona, I'm like, oh my God, just tell them yes now. Why are we leaving? Why did you say you'll tell them later or talk to them later? Like, just say yes. She's like, no, 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 just think about it. I'm like, I thought about it. I was like, have, were you there? Were you in the room? Were you listening to this beautiful story? So it was the story, that soul of the story. Yes, I was, you know, I, I always say every day, I am a blessed human being. For, you know, I'm standing here. I get to be a part of so many amazing things. But when something like this comes along, I really tell God, thank you. And thank you for thinking of me and, and having me be a part of this beautiful film. Because I think it's one of those that really touch your heart and stay with you forever. So thank you. I thank you. Because when I'm old and I'm dying and I'm like, oh my God, you know, I did this film called Banjo. It was beautiful. It's going to be there forever and I'll get to watch it a hundred times before I die. So it's a beautiful film. I love it. It's beautiful. Where is your manager? She's somewhere here, out yeah. there, hiding. Hi, probably. thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Slowly <laughs> creeping away. This <laughs> girl. <laughs> जिसने कहा थोड़ा देर और रुको थोड़ा इंतजार करो लेकिन इस लड़की ने कहा नहीं मुझे अभी करनी है फिल्म कौन से देखो उसको All right pictures and Sorry. of course I open the floor for questions from uh, the press आप अपना हाथ ऊपर कीजिएगा and then uh, we can get a microphone to you एक सेकंड भाई माइक्रोफोन क्या बोला आपने सर How important is this film for you Ritesh So I think every film is very important um, or um, it's it's not about how important is this film. Every film that we sign, we do, be it as actors, producers, and directors, um, I think they are all equally important. And uh, Banjo is indeed extremely special film. Uh, a because um, my dear friend Mr. Ravi Zadav and Krishika both thought of me in this role, uh, which is probably against so-called type, you know, it's not a comedy, it's a musical. And I'm glad that uh, they had faith in me to do this role. And I hope that um, I have lived up to their expectations. That's about it. The rest Did you is have to work on your character in any way? Um, of course. I've, uh, you know, um, strangely, when, um, 
when Banjo was narrated to me, um, the first thing was, because we had gone through at least eight or 10 drafts, uh, Ravi and me together, we had read the script together, we changed, we came back, and you know, every time they said, no, we've changed a bit and whatever. But um, it all started from um, trying to be like a street guy. And um, Ravi and Prashika both were very clear that, you know, we want in longer hair because he's a Jhopadabhatika rock star. So that he'll have his own unique style. So we started working and um, I had to push this film for six months because I was shooting for Houseful and I had shorter hair. Then we managed and we got this look. Uh, hopefully it's turned out okay. And um, then apart from that, yes, um, the writer was very specific about how he would say each word and each line. So it's not pehla hua, but it's pehla hua. You know, every word that I have said in this film is exactly the mm -hmm. way our writers, talented couple and Nikhil wanted me to say it. So yes, this film is very specific that way. Hello, hi Ritesh, uh, here, here, this side. 